Hello students. In this video, I will discuss the Weibo questions based on the dispersive power of a prism, and it is an important experiment in the undergraduate courses. In this experiment, white light is passed through a prism, and using the spectrometer, we have to analyze the spectrum. So when white light is passed through a prism, it get gets dispersed in different colors and using the spectrometer we can measure the angle of minimum deviation for red yellow and violet colors and then we can use the formula for calculation of refractive index and dispersive power so the dispersive power omega of a material of the prism is given by formula a which is for the three colors omega equal to delta b minus delta r divided by delta y means the angle of deviation for violet red and yellow color and delta is related with mu as delta equal to mu minus 1 into a where a is the angle of the prism and this delta m is angle of minimum deviation so we first we can find out mu for different colors that using sin a plus delta m by 2 divided by sin a by 2 and then using this mu we can find out delta and then using this relation we can find out omega equal to mu b minus mu r divided by mu y minus 1 so this is omega if we have measured the deviation for three colors but if we measure the deviation for violet and yellow only then this denominator mu we can take the average of this mu v plus mu y by 2 and then again we have we can find out omega or the dispersive power from here also so this is how we can find out the dispersive power if we measure the uh, angle of minimum deviation delta m and the prism angle a so there are some viva questions which are just basic questions so what do you mean by dispersion of light so when white light falls on a prism it splits into its constituents colors like this big gear and this phenomena of splitting of light is called dispersion our next question is why white light disperses into different colors after passing through a prism so it is because of the fact that velocity of different colors in a material medium is different that is the phase velocity because you, you have different waves therefore the refractive index mu is different for different color of light and the angle of deviation delta it depends on refractive index so it also varies for different colors so delta equal to mu minus 1 into a where a is the prism angle and it is 60 degree what is angle of deviation the angle between the direction of the incident ray and the emergent ray so this angle is known as the angle of deviation and what is the angle of minimum deviation so as we, we have seen that the deviation angle delta it varies with the change in the incident angle if we change the incident angle then this delta varies and the angle at which the deviation of ray of particular wavelength is minimum it is known as the angle of minimum deviation so one incident ray is in this direction and emergent ray is here so this angle delta m is known as minimum angle of deviation and in this condition this uh, incident angle i1 should be equal to the angle of emergence i2 and we can also see that minimum deviation is means when we are changing the angle of incidence the angle of deviation changes like this and minimum means when at the angle of incident this delta minimum this value is known as minimum deviation angle of minimum deviation what is dispersive power of the material so dispersive power is basically a measure of the amount of difference in the reflection of the highest and lowest wavelength that enters the prism the ratio of angular displacement uh, the ratio of angular dispersion between the violet and red emergent rays and the deviation suffered by the mean ray 
here it is the yellow color is known as the dispersive power omega of the material of the prism and using uh, this statement is written in this formula omega equal to delta v minus delta r by delta y and delta is related with mu mu minus 1 angle a minus mu r minus 1 angle a divided by mu b minus 1 angle a this angle a will be cancelled out so omega equal to mu b minus mu r divided by mu y minus 1 so these are the angle of deviations for this is for red color this is yellow color and this is for violet color what is a spectrometer so a spectrometer is a device to measure a spectrum and the basic parts of the spectrometer are collimator prism table and a detector and what is collimator so collimator is used to make the incident light parallel so is it necessary to put the prism at minimum deviation in this experiment so it is the answer is yes because at the minimum deviation condition then we can have the reflective index using Snell's law which is reduces to this formula which we have used for calculation of uh, dispersive power so mu can be find out by sine a plus delta m by 2 divided by sine a by 2 because you know, you know the Snell's law that mu 1 by mu 2 equal to sine theta 2 by sine theta 1 and using this we can find out the mu and using this mu we can find out the omega dispersive power if you have three prism of same material but different sizes which prism will have maximum dispersive power the answer is the dispersive power does not depend on the size of the prism it depends only on the material of the prism so all of them will have the same dispersive power what will happen with angle of minimum deviation if the prism is immersed in water so the angle of minimum deviation will become less because the refractive index of glass in water is less than that in air thus the angle of deviation depends on the color of light yes it is minimum for red and maximum for violet color this is for red color and this is violet so minimum for red and maximum for violet color what is refractive index and what are its unit so refractive index mu can be defined as the speed of light in vacuum divided by the speed of light in a medium the refractive index determines how much the path of light is bent or refracted when entering a medium and this is described by Snell's law of refraction and refractive index has no units on which factors the refractive index of a material depend refractive index mu depends on the nature of material nature of the medium wavelength of light and on temperatures and with the rise in temperature the refractive index decreases how angle of prism is related with the angle of deviation so larger the angle of the prism larger is the angle of deviation when light enters into the prism is there any change in the frequency of the wave the wavelength decreases but the frequency does not change so what are the essential part of a telescope a telescope consists of an objective lens an eyepiece mounted in separate brass tube and objective is combination of two lenses for finalizing the image what type of spectra is obtained from mercury lamp so mercury lamp gives us the line spectra this is mercury white lamp so mercury lamp gives us line spectra this kind of spectrum is line line spectra and whereas sunlight give us the band spectrum this there are different bands of color whereas the normal bulb or incandescent filament lamp it gives us continuous spectra what is an eyepiece eyepiece is combination of two lenses separated by a distance to get the final image without any lens defect what type of eyepiece is used in spectrometer and why Ramsden eyepiece is used because it removes chromatic aberration and chromatic aberration is the color distortion in an image so it reduces the uh, this chromatic aberration why two Bernier scales are there in the, this experiment 
so to remove the errors the average of the two vernier readings are used for the calculations what are differences in diffraction and dispersion of light so diffraction is where light spreads out after passing through a narrow ga gap or a from a grating or going around an obstacle and can lead to the interference pattern here we can see white light is passing through a grating diffraction grating which have small opening and then we can get the diffraction spectra and dispersion is the process by which light of different frequency or colors reflects by different amounts or it deviates or in different angles so white light, when white light is passed through a glass prism we can see that different colors are deviated so this is the dispersion of light whereas the diffraction is from very narrow opening or sometimes it is from the corners so this is the dif uh, difference in the diffraction and dispersion uh, of light so in next video we will dis uh, discuss the experiment based on the diffraction grating so if you have any questions or suggestions please write in the comment box and please subscribe this channel so that we can get the experiments and other theory topics related to physics and experimental physics so thanks for watching the video bye